Hi everyone, this is Always an Adventure, and today we're going to make an origami bird. And if you would like to be the hit of the party, just sit at the table and make one of these, and people will be amazed. Especially when you ask them for a dollar bill, and you make a little flappy bird out of their dollar bill. Okay, we have to make a square. Make this is a very cool thing to make at a at a table where you're sitting around with people. They'll be amazed. There's a square. Now to make the square out of the dollar bill, okay, fold it here so that you know how big to make it. And then I fold it over. And then right here, I know that I have to flip that in to where the point is at. Right here, like this. And then that squares it off. So then you so then you have a square, but then you flip this back open and now you have a perfect square. And that's what we need to make the bird, just like this, perfect square. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you with the paper because it might be easier to follow and the dollar bill. So now fold it this way in half. Fold, fold this in half. Okay, now open it and now fold it on a triangle. And open this. And we had one triangle already. So now fold the other triangle. And now fold this other triangle. And then one more fold this way. Increase it. So now, now you have like a star of folds. And the same thing with this. Fold this one. On the paper, you can see the star folds better. So it goes this way, this way, that way. Okay, so now you take the triangle, fold it over in a triangle. And then take this and fold it in and over. And the same crease. So now it's you just fold the right corner in and then fold it down and then fold the left corner in and fold it back. And then you have a square like this. Fold this corner in so it matches on the bottom and then back on the fold right here. And then the same with this one. So it's the same thing right here. Fold them both in and then fold it down. Right about here, and make a fold. 
I don't know, I think that's like halfway. Halfway in between. So if we fold it this way, you're going to know that it's half. So right here, we're going to fold it right here. It's just to make it a little easier. Okay. And it's open on the bottom, so about halfway. So then you crease it halfway. All right, so now open that up. Now you take this and you open it. And as you're opening it, you're folding these in. This is the most complicated part of this. So you're folding that in. So that it lines up like this. So you're folding it like that. So that it folds up, lines up. Kind of have to force it. Okay, and the same thing on this side. Once you get the first one, the second one's a little bit easier because you just put your finger in there. And you pull it together so that it matches right here. So now it's like that. Same thing with this. Pull it up. Dollar bill is a little smaller. So the same thing. Line it up like this. And then up to the top point. So then you have the one half a diamond. And now the other side and the other half a diamond. And we'll flip it over, do the exact same thing, measure it up to the top of this other wing, which this, this is what we're doing, we're making the wings right now, and make a straight line like this, down, and now the same on the other side. Holding the same thing on the side. And then down. So now we have this little floppy thing. And now it looks like it's okay. So now we have our diamond that we're working on. Finish it up like this, increase it. This side's not quite up there, so I'm going to yeah, straighten that out. Okay. Okay, so now we have a paper diamond and we have a dollar diamond. With the paper, the, the part that these diamonds are not open on top, but they're open on the bottom. So you just open this up like this, and then open it, and then fold it up to this so that this shoots out or angles out. So just this is going to be his tail. And increase it up. So now we have it up like this. 
open it, just flip it up, and you're like that. This side, and then turn it over. The same thing. Open it, and then flip it up, the same angle. This will be his head. it down on the bottom right here and here it's almost pretty much the same crease it up and now for the head just pull this one down same thing put your finger in there to crease it and then and that's that's the bird's head so now we'll do the same on the dollar bill the part that's open on the bottom. Just open this. Lift this up. Increase it for the tail. Like this. And you flip it over. Do the same thing. Open it. Flip it up. Crease it and then bring the point here down. Fold it in. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you have the little head of the bird. And now you just curl the wings. Curl the wings down. And the same on the paper one. All the wings. And then, actually curl it forward a bit. And then, you have a bird with flappy wings. Same thing with the little dollar bill. Curl the wings forward from the back. From, the, from this back tail, you curl it forward and curl this one forward. Hold it at the under the neck and you have a floppy bird made out of a dollar. If you make one of these out of a dollar, ask for a dollar at a party and you make this, people will be very impressed get their dollar back as a flapping bird. And that's one way to become the hit of the party. So amaze your friends with an origami bird that's interactive and flaps. I usually make dollar birds and I, or five dollar birds and I give it to homeless people. So I hope you're the hit of your next party and amaze everybody with your little flappy origami bird. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.